Hello, welcome to Gamegasm. I'm Jay. And I'm Bren. And Jay, what have we got today? Now, today we've got Bloodborne. <laughs> yes, it's Bloodborne. Released earlier this year and by far the best PlayStation 4 exclusive there is. Developed by From Software, all the Souls fans out there will be familiar with the type of game on offer here. For those of you who may not know, Bloodborne, much like the Souls series, is an action RPG that throws you into a dark and gothic world with practically nothing, pitting you against some of the hardest enemies ever in gaming. Seriously, even the weakest of enemies has the potential to easily kill you if you're not careful. You create your own character and awaken the town of Yharnam during an event called The Hunt. You are known only as The Hunter and must seek out something known as the Pale Blood. And that's pretty much it really. From here, you are set loose to carve your own path through this punishing world. It can become rather frustrating dying over and over, but when you eventually accept that dying is part of the learning curve of the game, it becomes a little more bearable. And it gives you the biggest sense of achievement when you finally nail a certain section you've been stuck on, or kill the boss that's been pounding you into the dirt for days. One of my favourite things about Bloodborne though was the Nightmare Edition that we managed to get our hands on. It came with a quill pen and an inkwell, amongst other cool things. We did an unboxing of it, so be sure to check it out. And that was Bloodborne, possibly the greatest PS4 exclusive game. Uh, definitely, by, I think, greatest game on the PS4 this year. Ooh, that's some big words right there. Yep, it's my game of the year. Wow, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, it's definitely worthy of being game of the year, to be fair, like all the cool stuff that's in it. Yeah, it was also uh, Shu Hayashida's game of the year, too. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> some people met him this year. Ah, yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Yoshida. How's it going? <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, but yeah, Bloodborne. Oh. Yeah, brilliant game. Um, Super I mean, hard though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's very. Oh, it's done by the same people as Dark Souls, so mm. it's very reminiscent of you the, evil the Soul series. Mm. But I thought this one was better because it was quicker, it was more fluid, and uh, that little bit of Dark Souls 3 we played kind of mimics Bloodborne. But yeah, so they're going in that kind yeah. of direction anyway with the faster kind of approach. Yeah, but the world you was in was brilliant. It was mm. that right level of mysterious because... Yeah, and they've, they've got that way of making you feel like, I don't know, you're connected to the world, but also there's this disconnection. Yeah. Like, uh, when you're roaming around and you can hear people talking behind like the windows and the closed doors yeah. and you can see light, but you, you're, just, you're just too far away and you can't get at it. It leaves you that uncomfortable air of, like, mystery. Yeah, it? yeah, you're you're very much alone, and the game doesn't really explain anything, but you kind of you piece it together as you go through, and that's what mm. I like. It was, yeah, a really good game, mm. really good game, and the the DLC for that came out not long ago. Oh yeah, so, you played um, it yet? No, I haven't yet. Uh, no, so I am looking forward to going, that. yeah, diving back into that world and playing a bit more. Nice, yes, and uh, yeah, if you out there have played it, don't forget to uh, leave us a comment. Let us know uh, what you think about Bloodborne because it's Jay's game of the year. Is it your game of the year? Who knows? Let us know down in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave us a like and also subscribe if you haven't already. I've been Bren. I've been Jay. And we've been Gamegasm. Game Hello, welcome to Gamegasm. I'm Jay. And I'm Bren. <laughs>